so now uh, we are going to start um, something like a map component or a oh sorry lightning map so as uh, we said last time map is something like to display a google map kind of thing okay so uh, if you generally uh, let's try to display something here component go to component library and then just uh, look for map here lightning and then here inside map okay you will get like map like this right so for that this is the code okay so i'm going to create a new lightning component new lightning component i will say uh, location space uh, we should have uh, without space or we can have like underscore like this now save this lightning component is created now keep this code now okay this is a, a map code uh, i just found it in the lightning component library right so for this you see init handler we know right what is a init handler init handler is to load something automatically right so uh, means whenever the page loads you want it to load something then automatically init handler we need to put init is a name and then handler is just handle to handle some event init event okay which will fire whenever page loads and then this is action means uh, this should be there in the javascript right so go to the controller then you can write here okay and then here whatever the code is given in the controller here okay save this now i didn't do anything okay uh, so i just created a whatever is there in the this example okay now uh, so this doesn't have any implements right we can write an implement Force available for all page types so that it will be available for pages. I think uh, tax missing flexi pages. Uh, flexi pages available for all page types, right. So now I will I will create a one app builder page lightning app builder page so and then I will drag and drop this component over there. click next so uh, give something like a google locator only just click next so however the layout you want you can select means you want three layouts you can select this two layouts single layout all this single region one region or that one region select this now we can drag and drop our component here right so custom components and standard components as well so we have a custom component i'm just drag and drop here okay, uh, okay. cmp is not there it's saying it's fine I save it so it says that uh, you have used cmp but it is not there it is showing it's okay we can change it just save it and then activate it 
and then go to lightning go to airtel one and add the page okay and then you want to in a mobile also you can just add it here so have you tried installing a mobile application so uh, install salesforce one salesforce uh, is sorry salesforce salesforce in a play store so you will see a salesforce uh, um, one application one app install that and log in with your credentials and then you can see your application suppose now we are building this page this page also will be available in your application means uh, if you are logging with these credentials you know just go back go to our application at airtel1 you have added to this airtel1 you see google locator here just click on this our component will load now uh, but it's actually having error it says that a component error has occurred error action failed okay this is an action field it says that cmp is not uh, defined in the component caused by this one cmp is not defined it's saying means in the javascript file it says that uh, you see here controller in it okay means here if you see in the controller in it in it is a function now okay so inside i have used cmp dot but I, here there is a component but i have used as a cmp so it's unable to find it and is giving error save this now just refresh now again and then it will work so now you see the white house it's showing the white house okay this address whatever the address is there description and title okay so we just uh, go here so that is a description point okay description is not coming but however uh, the it's located on the whatever the address you given i will just change right uh, any address you give it will come but now whatever I am giving is something hard coded right so always it will show this location so you wanted to give a ability to change the location to the user then you can introduce something lightning input so here just put lightning input type is equal so by default text if you don't put or put also like this one if you mention text or if you don't mention also by default it will be text label uh, enter the location okay uh, means let's say enter address Like this, you can just put a three more fields. City, state. Okay. To store the values, we will just put it like this. Address. Let's introduce a button. Okay, and then for the button label, okay, and then action. Right, okay, so if you want, you can just put everything in a lightning card as we know. And then we tried with the uh, lightning layout, I guess, right? So you can just also put lightning 
layout if you want typing layout on layout items like in layout okay so inside of this you can put a lightning layout item okay multiple items you can uh, uh, I mean include in one lightning item okay I will just put all the items here and then button also and this button code also and put inside of this lightning layout select and now do this okay and you want this any another card uh, map you want to put in another card you can put like this also one more card you can declare so these are used to for comments right so now uh, lightning card Which we can declare but it says that card is no. width to occupy the page more then just change here item size is equals to six okay so it will occupy six columns now so it occupied to six columns by default if you put a lightning item it will just take one one column so total you can put a 12 columns means 12 columns means full page four columns means four to four columns six means half of the page okay now refresh this but we haven't uh, we, we haven't passed these values yet to, to controller so we need to get it here whenever somebody clicks on this button okay do action we are just putting do action the do action is a method okay. function just like this function copy now somebody clicks on this you wanted to get address equals to component dot get of the the address that is entered by the user is stored in the attribute address you just get it okay, like this all the values you get it here city and state So always uh, suggested to you know, copy the same attribute names. Uh, sometimes if it is uh, syntax missing or something like something like uh, if we put a C caps and small maybe uh, it will not work properly. Okay, so you can declare the same also no problem here state. Okay, 
make a city okay like this i'll just take like this so whatever the names you want you can just put uh, like this with the same name also you can put no problem with the same caps letters also okay. it is a javascript variable that is storing now okay we got these values from the component to javascript now by default let, let it load as a tirupati but i will just copy this and then paste here so here markers are setting the location i wanted to get now now i wanted to get it uh, something dynamically so i am getting the dynamically values that are entered by the user and i stored here instead of putting in a single code i just directly put now like this that's all save it okay and refresh now by default on load this method is calling on load whenever the page loads this method is calling in this method therapy address is here by default it will load now somebody enter the data and then click on that based on that uh, component uh, street city and everything will be changing now let's let's refresh this by default the address is coming now we'll have to just change to bangalore Now see here, okay. So it says that this is actually a Marathi address, basically. See here, Chennai Road Airport. Okay, uh, we can zoom it. The Marathi Bridge. Okay, Marathi Bridge. It's coming. Okay. Um, so let's put some other address. So whatever the address you just know, search. Okay, any address. Let's search for. See the entire gardens, entire gardens coming. Okay, anything you just search. Let me change to. Uh, see, you see, even though its state is not considering now because it's fine with the city and then same address. It's fine. It doesn't consider now a state. Uh, state now. You see, let me put as under uh, Telangana. Uh, even though now it's finding with the address, no, no worries. Whatever you give, it is finding basically. Okay, no worries. So like this, we can just uh, search. So it's finding now, but exact location it doesn't find. You see, that's why it's coming. See, it's finding, but uh, it's zoom level. It's showing more. You see, Himalayas. It's showing. You see like this you can generally display any any uh, generally any uh, map value based on your address now you can just uh, you see I haven't hard coded this now it's a value dynamically coming from the, the address entered by the user the same values you can just pass to this okay however you can use helper also right so let's make this uh, as a helper component I can uh, what I can do I can just directly use everything over here okay, I can write here component okay that's all save it title let's put as title as city name And description also something like city name save it now we can call this uh, let's say uh, location find something any name I can call this now here helper dot helper dot this method but it requires a component reference so, okay and then the same method you can call here also 
by eliminating this we don't need this now you can just remove it okay and then you can just uh, put by default values also here default whenever page loads by default it will come like this default is uh, stage 30 okay then state is AP. by default this one will come now default it will come whenever page loads also this will call the method the here default address is now therapathy therapathy address with that location will be loaded okay so by default i didn't enter this by default it is coming okay whatever the default value you set that will come a zoom level also you want to control you can just do that default something like that. then we have put But however, um, that is taking my directly from this component, June 11, right? June 11, June 11. You see here, we are six, setting 16 here. So you want to be controlled from the component, then, then you need to provide an option that somebody wants to zoom here by giving a number 10%, 20%, like that. You can just get that okay so however uh, let it keep like this now okay so like this we can implement the uh, any component i mean uh, sorry my component so you can uh, i'm just giving the options here okay. like that you wanted to display uh, by a, you know uh, somebody clicks on that uh, display something we uh, components right so somewhere here we are displaying a data customer database customer customers lightning page so here also suppose you clicked on display data now data is there okay based on the customer city or based on that if you click here okay then you want to display image here this is one map here you can do the same thing okay so what we are doing is now in the page when I, when I, in a page i click on a button i'm displaying the image so the map like that somebody clicks on this okay on click you can put or on draw action you can put click on this access this customer data what is the address is there then display it in the right side okay that also you can do okay now uh, like dynamically you can pass values by storing here and then pass here wherever the single code is there uh, which is a hard code static data now like this uh, we can do now let's uh, jump uh, any any questions here is it clear okay. uh, so now what are we going to do is um, we are trying to create data last time okay in previous class we are trying to create a data in like this right from the apex class we are doing by setting the all the fields okay name phone facts like this and that these values are coming from ui from here okay and then somebody entered these values and saved it okay so data is going to be stored in a database okay uh, that is one approach again in a same approach what if you are having i mean we are handling the errors also last time what if you are handling what if you are having more than 100 fields more some more fields okay, any like you say you say some fields some 100 fields 50 fields then 50 attributes we need to declare like this and then the controller 50 uh, variables you need to declare like this and 50 attribute names like name phone facts like that you need to pass to the apex also set params 50 times you need to do like this and then in apex class also you need to have a uh, these many parameters right so it's very difficult right 50 50 uh, doing like this it's very very hard and very 
uh, not good one right so if you want to reduce this okay you have another option uh, which is like a object instance uh, again this is useful only if it is object you have an object already okay uh, so to object you want it to provide the data then that is useful otherwise generally uh, you want something like this uh, map component google locator this is something address city state only it, it's not an object we are just getting these values in a javascript and, ba and based on the values we are just displaying a data or we are just setting the data right that is not a um, object data it is individual data okay you wanted to insert or you wanted to make a kind of object and then and then use it uh, multiple fields then what you can do you can create a lightning component and do like the same same like this only but little bit difference we, we are going to do now okay lightning component like same customer uh, create customer right create customer data i'll say two second uh, we are just doing is another how to insert a data in different approaches okay so here i will just take the similar code okay now i will reduce um, you know these many uh, number of attributes to single attribute i will say uh, customer record okay now generally we will put a type is something like a string integer boolean right now today we are going to do this as a attribute oh sorry a subject a subject and then let's say you want to make this as a uh, customer object okay customer api name we need to put api name object object api name okay and then any any one field name field or something Okay, by default EMT also you can put like this. default so this is an object now um, yeah yes we can do these things also as an object only but by default here I'm just setting object type is customer object now one object instantiation will be created here so for this object we can just put a values like this customer object like what are the fields you want API names you can write directly here so let's say I want name we can write name and then I want uh, I'm taking the API names here from the class I am already used here API names otherwise you go to object and then whatever the fields you want you can just take it from there okay and then other dot other and then what else email and pan okay now you see um, name oh sorry form is what is this other email and then save it okay now you see values generally in a previous example 
we used to take it like a uh, for name one attribute <coughs> for phone one attribute other one attribute right now directly i'm saying this object dot this field name okay now when on save do save okay earlier we used to call this method okay right from the javascript let's let's take a javascript in the javascript we used to do all these things right so now i will just directly put instead of these many attributes only one attribute only one attribute here which is customer create record and then as usual we can call uh, apex class like this We are calling a apex okay uh, so here you see apex create customer record now if you want you can create a one more uh, like this uh, method okay uh, let's let's create a new class okay so here you can write a method after it are enabled and this is not a uh, apex class is not a case sensitive means you can put a here yeah, also small here yeah, also small or enabled it will work okay apex class is not a case sensitive but javascript is a case sensitive means salesforce given a, a, a syntax like this set params in a in set params p is a caps so you should include a p uh, you should write a p as a caps letter only otherwise it will throws an error says that i didn't find okay so javascript is a case sensitive okay but apex is not case sensitive in apex you can write anything public static hide this method i'm writing now so now this is a method available okay i am So now I have a method available. I can call this from our component. Okay, how do you call? Just like this method name, just copy here, right? Same method name is already available. But parameter, we don't need to send all these parameter now. We have here single parameter which will hold all the values, right? So now here, instead of this, first of all, I will get the customer record here okay so this value i will send now to this method in a method let's write a object okay this you can consider as object you can put as a subject also no problem a subject a subject and here uh, let's say customer data okay so this is a parameter now so see the same parameter name you need to write remove all these things okay now customer data you are going to send the customer trade record you are getting here the same record you are going to send as a parameter okay now do a callback and everything is same okay um, now just save it now everything is same like how, how we are calling these days it's same and then we are setting a show post message here and we don't need of this one uh, like we don't need to check success or not you can just put a state if you want state is equals to equals to success okay then show a post message okay so you are going to you are going to uh, you see just we will just work it again so we are calling apex okay we know how to call and then we are we need we need to set a params if there is any parameter you want to send it to apex we can set a parameters and do a callback and then at the end of this nq action so now we are checking inside of, of callback what is the state if state is success then show error message 
short show toast message you don't want directly you want show a toast message that, I mean, show toast message that is also fine but you wanted to check meaningfully is there a success message or not then only you wanted to you can do it now in the apex class you are calling you can insert directly insert this one okay again you wanted to handle any errors then put a try catch block you wanted to show error message you can do like it's last time we did like this you want any errors to be tracked any errors you wanted to track then get the exceptions and then return as a string so this is good actually we need to put a try catch blocks really okay so um, you can do that okay i am doing without try catch block whenever you practice you include this every time uh, you see any dml operations uh, better you always put a try catch block Okay, now I have created a component. Okay, I will use this uh, in a separate page. Um, any page, okay, I will display here, okay, somewhere or a component somewhere, and I will insert a data today. So I will edit this page. data to write so data to component include here somewhere just save it now in this example we have reduced the code number of attributes <coughs> we reduced okay so now let's write here uh, first very to verify the data just go to our application so here go to our application uh, customers in a backend, oh, we have an object, customer's object, right? Customer's object you are having here. So till now you are having 37 records. 37 records. Um, so now I am going to uh, insert 37 record. Okay, say with the same name. So create a new record. Uh, so not not here uh, from our component. Okay, 37 record and some phone number, some other number, right, and then email and then some file number. Now data is good only, just save it. So it's not giving any status. Let's check is there any error. So go to debug log. So you see it's I think it's not called um, do save do save is there okay so why is not called any idea we have a method in a controller we have a uh, JavaScript method from the JavaScript you are having a Apex class method also here apex class the thing is we haven't used this controller in component file here we haven't called controller is equals okay so we can put this anywhere like at the end of the end of the page also we can put here also no problem anywhere you can include as an attribute that's all okay so it's always not we you no need to put here only controller is equals so we can put anywhere okay and then you can for simply readability purpose you can just enter this instead of long page you can enter the next page also you can just easily find out any components available here okay like this save it now we are having a controller here earlier we haven't used this so it's not making any call to apex it is trying to find the this one but it is not find out in the class there is no class associated for this component so it's not calling right now come here and then refresh again and try so try here okay so write some phone number and then other and then email id right and then just submit doesn't do anything right refresh and check here data is available or not so 
so you can search also it's created basically you see 37 is created you can see in a recent in a recent view it's created but it's not showing any message in the ui okay is it okay you will just refresh and see 38 We need to debug why is not uh, created. So, so debug log can be clear. So you see previously logs were there. So I just did uh, Control Shift G. Control Shift G. The logs are cleared here. There is no logs now. Otherwise, you can go here, uh, 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 debug, and then clear log panel. Means whatever the logs was there earlier will clear. Now if I click on save my error uh, my uh, log will come here okay save it now again you see one one log is coming here you see it doesn't show any error right so let's go here and see it doesn't show error and it's, uh, it's showing a success only i think it's not called i enabled public static void this method name is available here Save it. Component. What is the state? State is also not coming. Customer record. Customer data. Same name. Customer data. So we can put a debug log here. System dot debug. What is coming the data? You can just verify that. What data is coming from our component to here? Is a parameter. Is the data coming or not? Okay. Then we can check insert statement later. First of all, data is coming or not, whether it is called this method or not to check verify that. You can just put a debug. If this is printed, means our class our method is executed and some data, whatever the data is coming, it will show now. Okay. Now I want to clear the log. Okay. So why clear the log means just to just to uh, you know start from our component. Okay, whether our component started. If so many logs are there, we can just remove it. Okay go to debug and then clear clock panel or shortcut you see control shift alt shift uh, alt g okay do this so you see log is cleared now logs are cleared then refresh it again and then try to save as soon as you generally refresh okay if apex is there then apex will call if visual in this you see visual port space is there that means visual port space is executed so it's showing here at with my my first page okay my first page is executed in this one if this component having any apex call as soon as page loaded then then r also it might have showed is here is something r operation is uh, slash r means r also from r also something is executed now as soon as executed we are not doing anything we are just loading the input only we are not making any server call okay so if any server call like any apex you are calling then generally uh, it will display here okay now uh, we are So, uh, so now here I am having the same everything name. Let's write something. And then save it. As soon as you save, we supposed to get a log here. Okay. You want to clear this also, you can do that. Okay. Save it. So nothing is happening. So, you see here one once i click there is some action is uh, with the one entry in the log which is ara just double click on this it will loads a log so you see it's loaded it's called but it's actually 
it doesn't call apex so it doesn't go to apex basically it's not coming here public class static void create data as object okay so if it is called then uh, if this method is called then we would have received one parameter uh, and that might have printed line number 4 log will print but as of now it doesn't print anything let's check Let me first or simply I will just write here a subject like this. I'll just put here if not equals to null. So I am not taking any parameter now. I am just simply uh, put a simple uh, one then let me try here without parameters and see no parameter I will not send any parameter let's see whether it is going to come inside or not is there any problem or not I will just check do save action component dot get c dot method name ok it's, it's correct only as of now I am not sending any data I can remove this everything also um, just I'll just put just log system dot debug log um, and uh, this one only I'll just put means everything is empty now. I just once the method is called, then it will come. I'll, I wanted to just find out whether this is called or not. So in the logs, I see that it's not called. You see, it's saying that class name, but it doesn't come inside. Okay. So, just to verify purpose, I am just putting everything in comments in a comments. I am just uh, displaying this so, and whether it is entered in a method or not. Okay. Mm, now, let's come here and refresh. Now, whatever I enter doesn't matter. Anything I can enter here or uh, without enter. I just wanted to check whether it is going to be called a pixel mark that's all so i'll open the log and open the debug it's not coming means something some problem in the javascript our javascript over here success on click do save Put an alert here and I also verify. So it doesn't matter whatever I enter. Go to debug log and see. So it's not called there also, even though I have not sending anything. Okay. Okay. Now, now I will not use anything. Just I will just. this as well and comment this as well everything I'll comment and see why it is not calling only I'll just put a button that's all no input nothing so here also I will not print anything so I'm not setting any parameters 
I'm just trying to call this apex and see. Thank you. Action is there. Action is there. Now let me see. There is no a subject I'm declaring. No inputs. Just a button. If I just click a button, method has to call. In the method just one log is there the system dot debug should log should fire okay just refresh this now so just button is there now no input just click on save um, so it should have okay now you see nothing is fired okay there is no apex call happen Just uh, now click on this save, do save and see one aura entry is there, double click on this, it will load the log, you should have loaded, um, so just click on debug, it says that enter in, in the method, so now, now it is fine, now let me call this again, okay, so here I am going to pass a data to it, now now there is a one object um, means this one I am doing insert operation here I will save this so now I should have get a, a subject of data inside of this subject okay. now I will call this method so here the method is there and I will write a params action dot set params and inside of this with the same name whatever the name is there with the same name I will pass a data so now data actually I will get it from this one this customer record save it now we are sending a data call back and then once call back success then we are doing this let me put as error uh, if some error is coming i'll put a simply alert error we can just put a status also alert what is the state coming okay now now there are three alerts as soon as loaded it will say inside do alert and then uh, if apex called then we will see here what is the state if state is error then it will just say say an error okay i can put in uh, inside inside i don't need to put uh, already having show post message it will show otherwise we can put inside also success inside success 
inside error. Okay. So alerts I'm just keeping and then go here and then remove all the comments and then try. This is your subject. And then come here and refresh. State is error. So, error inside error. So now it's basically error showing. Okay, just go here and allow and see what's the error. Okay, it looks like it is not. It is not uh, taking proper data means uh, parameters. I think it's some problem. Right. Okay, I just put an object. give me a second I will just uh, check data the data type we are sending is not accepting by the Apex class so it is not executing anything I can go to developer .salesforce.com uh, and then I can verify here documentations uh, we can always so see uh, this documentation send directly something like this uh, instead of a subject type we can just put a count type 
this account here then it should be account here sorry not account or we should pass like a customer So it says that success. Let's verify in recently viewed records or created records. So the date is coming. Do you see? Um, so like we are sending object data directly. Okay. So we are sending uh, the just mistake that we did is something here uh, instead of uh, object name, but I'm directly putting like a subject here. In this case, it should uh, have accepted me same as subject type here. But it is giving error. Um, so let me try again. And see. so the just change is this one we did. Now instead of a subject, uh, the specific object name we are giving customer object. Okay. Now let, let me try this approach again and see whether it is coming or not. And then save it. It's not accepting a subject type um, so a subject type is not accepting so I'm just directly putting whichever the object I want I want a account contact whatever the object we can mention here and then all the input fields okay so here in the uh, in parameters also just put as a customer object I mean whichever the object so now just just repeat whatever we did is earlier we are doing just I will just go to this component uh, first and, and just explain and then later we'll just compare this earlier we were doing like this to insert a data okay and then sending all this data to Apex by writing like this getting the all the parameters and then uh, I mean all the values from the our component and then set as a parameters and then this class is having a parameters this method is having a parameters and then setting the all the values and inserting doing a dml statement here line number 12 we are doing a dml statements which is inserting the data this is good only uh, but if you have a large number of attributes large number of input fields to store then large number of attributes you need to declare then large number of input parameters you need to declare here to the method so which is heavy if you have 50 40 fields 50 fields 60 fields like that okay now now you have an alternative option don't declare those many attributes just declare only one attribute of type same object type and then default you just set about what what object you wanted to insert a data so you are just saying that customer uh, customer object and the name field by default you are giving some field okay now somebody uh, enters a data you see here customer record dot name dot phone everything in objects values you are just setting directly okay now this customer is an attribute will store all the values name phone and then other email whatever they are inside it will store and then a javascript we can just get a single variable like this okay just customer record this this value just store Okay, and directly do an insert operation here the data is already set in the R component you are just doing a insert statement here that's all okay so like this you can insert a data 
uh, you know by eliminating